Yes, fam, bam, what's good with you, man? Before I even get started, man, I'd like to say happy Thanksgiving Eve to everybody out there getting it right, getting it prepared, and getting the family ready. No arguing. Don't argue too much. And if you do argue, just squash it before, before somebody goes home, man, because you know what? It's all about love and support and uh, being humble and grateful for everything, man. For real, for real. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody, man. Make sure it's fun, safe, and it smells good in that kitchen, baby. But I like to talk about somebody having to hit the reset button. You know he had to, man. With his 2.76 inch per play ass. You know he had to sit down. Every Jet fan in the nation was asking for this. You know what I'm saying? And some of us didn't even know that he was going to sit down. I thought, me personally, I thought he was going to play a half. I mean, if he was doing bad and all that. But hey, Robert Sala stuck to his word. And he's not bullshitting. And that's what we want to see. We ain't going to just let somebody throw for 2.76, you know, 2.76 inches. Yo, that's a Jet, that's a New York Jet all-time history stat right there. And only us Jets fans could talk about it. I had a homeboy at the job clowning me about that shit. And I said, listen, we sat his ass down today. Yeah, he needs to hit the reset button. You feel me? Real talk because... That's the worst stat as a Jets fan in the history of my career as a Jets fan that I've ever had to witness. And I think for a lot of Jets fans, for real, for real, think about that. Let that sink in your head for a whole half. Three yards. 2.76 inches per play. You got to sit. You got to sit down, bro. Hit the reset button on that motherfucker, man. For real. Anyway, bro, that's real talk. And you know what? If somebody doesn't agree with that, then I think your ass is blind. I think you need to go watch some uh, football in this motherfucker for real with the United States trying to play to win. You feel me? But anyway, man. Yeah, we know who's in the building now. It's the Mike White era. You know, and I feel like this. I feel like Mike White knows that this is his prime, um, prime time, you know, opportunity to show primetime opportunity to show that he wants to be the starter for the New York Jets and let's just be clear right now I'm not looking for a super a super crazy like three four touchdowns even though I would love that with no interceptions 250 to 300 you know what I'm saying I would love those kind of stats but all we're looking for is an average a game manager, somebody that can get the ball to where it needs to be other than the other team's hands and to get us down the field to help supply the defense for what they need. You know what I'm saying? Complimentary style. That's all we're asking for from Mike White going in on Sunday. But I have, I'm telling you, this is my, this is my personal opinion. I feel like I have, I mean, I feel like Michael White will have a decent game going against the Chicago Bears Sunday in MetLife. The vibration is going to be real. The energy is going to be high. And everybody's going to be a Michael White fan in that, in that arena come Sunday. You know what I'm saying? And Michael White, you've seen what he does before, man. When the team is playing well, when he's playing well, man, everybody's together. Everybody's playing complimentary. Everybody's on the same page. And people like Michael White. The way that Zach did it, man, I kept watching that podium play. And I just kept shaking my head like, who, who do you think you are, young man? Who the hell do you think you are? They really asked him. They said, do you think, do you think that you let the defense down? No. You feel me? Like, who, you, would, you would think that was coming from a nine-year veteran that has some credibility to act like that. Tom Brady Jr. or something. You feel me? Man, this dude ain't even, um, <laughs> he ain't even Kyler Murray. And Kyler's dealing with his. They, hey, Arizona got robbed. But that's a whole different story. But let me go back to Zach, man. Zach, 
You need a humble piece of pie, bro. You need a humble piece of pie for tomorrow on Turkey's Day with your family. And you need to realize that this could go big for you on your career move, bro. Your career could be over in a heartbeat. Fucking with people like that. And you ain't even putting nothing on the board yet. You need to really think about what you're doing, Zach. And I hope this reset button, I hope you re I hope you push the reset button and I hope you realize not everything is handed to you. And this is this is something that I would say the coaching staff should have dealt with prior to the season starting. We should have had that man earn his right to be a starter. And f- instead of, you know, trying to pull a move and hurt his knee for four weeks. And be on IR for a little bit. Zach should have lost his job then. You know what I'm saying? Because, yo, you ain't proven nothing yet to us, man. You ain't proven nothing to us. And when you came back, it felt like you was good when Pittsburgh and all that. But I'm going to tell you like this, man. You ain't did nothing with your stats yet, bro. The way you were, you were, you're five and two since you've been in. But that's all defense, man. And that's all Brees Hall, man. And you need to give some credit to where credit's due, Zach. So I hope that this will allow you to reevaluate everything that you feel like right now, man. You can't can't have the hand-me-downs. You can't be handed just... That's not how life works, man. When the earth rotates, you got to earn some in that day, baby. Real talk. So right now, we're looking at Mike White with the Chicago Bears and MetLife Stadium. And I really feel like we're going to see some good because that defense is ready. And, and, and the locker room is already ready. The locker room is very excited to introduce somebody named Mike White. ESPN's already hating. Who is Mike White? Is this the right move? Man, when you make 2.76 inches per play, hell yeah, that's the right move. I don't know any sport that can compare a stat like that on anything. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Not even cricket. I don't even know how cricket works, but cricket ain't fucking with that. Let's be real. That is worse than any high school football I've ever played. You feel me? I could dive for more inches on a first down than that for an average of a half. Man, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm just talking shit. I'm just enjoying my Turkey's Eve, man. It's a bittersweet, man. I, I lost those that moved on and stuff like that. But no, no bullshit, man. I want everybody to enjoy it. I want everybody to, uh, you know, be grateful for what they have and just understand, man, that everything is going to be all right. It just depends on the mentality. As a Jets fan, we're going to be all right. You feel me? Mike White is in here. Maybe this is a new chapter. Maybe we turn the page on Zach. Maybe you'll be a good backup. I don't know. But we need to see something better than what I just said on a stat for a second half moment. On that note, man, let me know what you think in the comments below. It's your boy. And as always, J-E-T-S. Jess, Jess, Jess. Let's get it, baby. I'm out.